I really feel like like the dolls have a comfort value. It's a, it's a welcome. I really want them to feel welcome. Miles away from Iowa, Kate Hoke is working to ensure Afghan refugees feel welcome. The former Iowa resident now resides on the East Coast and she's taken on the task of outfitting dolls with traditional Afghan garb. Each piece of clothing is handmade. I wanted them to recognize themselves in the dolls and be able to identify with them. And she has help. Carol Betts of Beaverdale has joined forces with Hope to outfit about 60 dolls. Stitch by stitch, she says they'll get the job done. Oh, they take about an hour to make. Each outfit will have a headband, hijab, tunic or dress, and leggings. Some even have little details. I put a little flower on the front of her dress. One of the dolls here has actually a knit fabric that I uh, had used to make my daughter a swimsuit like 20 years ago. As the saying goes, it takes a village. And these ladies say providing these dolls is the least they can do to hopefully make these kids' days a little brighter. So anything we can do to kind of help these families uh, adjust and for the children to um, feel uh, welcome and feel at home and feel comfortable. Um, I think it's very important. Lauren Johnson reporting for KCCI 8 News. I was news leader. Anybody interested in donating fabric or who would like to sew outfits can contact the Des Moines Refugee Support Group on Facebook. Some of the children get their dolls right away next week.